All right, folks, here we are, pick number 17 of our favorite 31 debut albums of all time. I am Pete Pardo from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to the show. Today, as we're doing each and every day, we're picking out our favorite debut albums of all time, what we feel are the top debuts across all music genres. For this particular episode, another U.S. band here. They released this album in November of 1972. It was recorded at Village Recorder in Los Angeles, California, Produced by Gary Katz for ABC Records. I'm talking about Can't Buy a Thrill from Steely Dan. Yes, indeed. The album that started it all for the Dan. Back when they really were a band and not just kind of like a studio project of two guys and a whole bunch of cool session cats, right? This actually was a band at this point in time for the Dan. And uh, that band consisted of Walter Becker on bass guitar lead and backing vocals, Donald Fagan, piano, electric piano, organ, lead and backing vocals, Jeff Skunk Baxter, that's right, Skunk himself, on guitar, pedal steel guitar, Denny Diaz on guitar, electric sitar, Jim Hodder, drums percussion, lead vocals on one track, David Palmer, lead and backing vocals. Of course, we wouldn't see David in the band for for all that long, right? Because, of course, after... He left, uh, we saw basically Donald Fagan become the de facto lead vocalist in the band going forward. Lots of uh, additional people, though, do play on this particular album. Of course, you got Elliot Randall on lead guitar on a couple tracks. Victor Feldman does some percussion on this album. Jerome Richardson, tenor sax on a couple tracks. Snooky Young, flugelhorn on a track. Clyde King, Shirley Matthews, and Vanetta Fields uh, backing vocals on a couple tracks. Right. So, speaking of the tracks, what do we have on this album that kind of blends rock, blues, jazz, and pop. Because, you know, Steely Dan, kind of un, unclassifiable, hard to pigeonhole them into any one style. They're, it's Steely Dan music. Is it pop? Is it rock? Is it jazz rock? What is it? Eh, it's Steely Dan music. But yeah, it encompasses all those things, right? Uh, Do It Again is the first song on the album, Back Jack. Do it again. Such a cool song. And again, right off the bat, the first song, you get those lead vocals from Donald Fagan. So unique, so recognizable. Very cool song. Dirty Work is the next song, sung by Mr. Palmer. Okay, that's a little more of a breezy pop song, right? Cool song, great melody. I mean, these guys, great hooks in all their songs. Then you got the wonderful Kings, right, sung by Fagan. Midnight Cruiser, terrific track right there, sung by Mr. Hodder. Yeah, I really dig Midnight Cruiser. Only a Fool Would Say That, okay? Sung by Palmer and Fagan. And then over, of course, on side two. And this album, uh, you know, none of the Steely Dan albums rock all that hard. But I would say, you know, this album, maybe the next couple have more of their rock-based stuff before they moved into that kind of whole jazz-pop hybrid type of thing they were doing. Uh, side two, you got Reeling in the Ears, right? Donald singing that particular song, Elliot Randall doing all sorts of crazy stuff on lead guitar on that track, just so, so good. Uh, Fire in the Hole is up next, that's also sung by Fagan, terrific song. Brooklyn, Owes the Charmer Under Me, Palmer sings that particular one. Change of the Guard, another great rocker on here, absolutely love Change of the Guard. It's got a great groove too, though, so good. Uh, Fagan and Palmer sing that, and then Turn That Heartbeat Over Again closes it up, and you got basically Fagan, Palmer, and Becker all singing on that particular one. So, you know, the early Steely Dan, multiple vocalists, you know me, I love lots of different singers, um, but I think personally with this band, when they moved over to Donald Fagan singing, pretty much all of their songs they really really got that identifiable sound right and uh but it took some experimenting on this first album to kind of get there so still a terrific terrific record i mean this is really good and uh just you know 40 minutes of absolute great song craft again blending all these different styles so so well the production is really great as most of the uh, steely dan records are let's look at the charts uh australia made it to number 46 and here in the States, the Billboard Top Albums, number 17. Pretty good, right? Yeah. German charts, it re-popped into the charts in Germany in 2022 at number 84. Uh, as far as, like, uh, certifications go, don't believe there are any certifications. Hold on a second. Let's see here. It's not, nothing is listed here. 
Yeah, I don't think so. No, no certifications for this album. That's too, that's a shame. Didn't even go gold. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, certified gold. Yes. So why did not I have to go find it somewhere else? So this was uh, originally certified gold, a 500,000 unit sold, but then by 1993 uh, it did uh, certify as platinum. So 1 million copies sold here in the States. So that's really the only certifications we have here. And as far as uh, singles, we've got uh, Do It Again. It was released in 19, so that, that year in 1973, made the uh, U.S. Billboard Hot 100 at number 6, and Reeling in the Year is also released uh, that same year, which made it to number 11 here in the uh, Billboard Singles Charts. Yeah, I, I could have sworn back in the day that Dirty Work was released as a single, or maybe they just played it on just rock radio at some point, but uh, I always remember hearing that for some reason, and, and, and at the time, never knew it was Steely Dan, because, of course, that voice wasn't there, right? So... Yeah, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's my pick for today. Can't buy a thrill from Steely Dan. Let us know what you think of this great debut from the Dan, as well as your pick for today, down in the comments below. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. Day number or pick number 16 coming at you tomorrow. Till then, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Ko fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. It's always greatly appreciated. We also have Sea Tranquility memberships, so go look for the join button. You can see what's available there. And, uh, See you tomorrow for pick number 16. Till then, I'm Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.